Okay, welcome back. We left off with this great image and we saved it as a JPEG in whatever, you know, we saved it. Um, now, we're, now we're, what we want to do, I'm just going to go to my desktop and go to the location where you opened it. Okay. Uh, right click it and select open with VTF edit. If you watch my um, four part tutorial on how to get models into the source engine then you would know what this is. So please go back and watch them if you know, know what this is. Okay, once it's opened go to file save as okay, and go to your source folder where you want the materials to be saved. If you're following this using the previous tutorial then it would be in half of your deathmatch HL2MP materials models congrats and it would be called congrats underscore detail like I said you don't have to use underscore detail I just help it just um, helps to keep things organized okay then go to tools create VMT file make sure this is right models forward slash congrats forward slash congrats underscore detail options turn it from light map generic down to vertex generic make sure translucency is turned off through 8 and save close now go and open up your um, box text you know this one here it's the larger file it's the VM VTF file okay, the main texture congrats VTF open and here we have our texture now go to tools Create VMT, Vertex Generic, Translucency turned off, go into Textures next to the Options tab, and go down to here where it says Detail Texture. Click the little box next to that and find the one that we just made. In my case, it's Congrats underscore Detail VTF. Open that, go to Options again, make sure everything's okay, Create, and just Save. Replace the original file, okay, Close. And that's that done. Now all we have to do is close down VTF edit when it decides it wants to close down. Um, desktop. Let's go to your f um, where we compiled the box. If you followed the previous tutorial, just you know you you'd know what you're doing now. Okay. If you didn't know what you're doing now, please watch my previous tutorials. So we're in our um, name Steam apps name folder source SDK content basically you're going to go back to the QC file or you're going to the Q to the QC file for your model so we're in source SDK content Half-Life 2 multiplayer which is obviously for deathmatch um, models RC um, models congrats and just open up your QC file with the um, thing that I provided for you before if you watch my previous tutorials I know that I keep saying this, but if this is if this is your first time trying to get a prop or whatever, or you know you're saying what application is that? Um, basically, all the applications that I've used are in the first part of my four-part tutorial called "How to Import Models into the Source Engine." So just go to that, and I've given a link, provided a link, and get the tools that I used in this tutorial in that tutorial. Okay, now we just go Half-Life. To deathmatch because that's the um, game that we um, created this model and textures for. Half have to deathmatch compile and it's compiled. Close it down now. Source SDK. You have to make sure that source SDK or, or you know source is running. Model viewer. Open up the model viewer and I'll show you what happens. You remember before that our box was plain. If you if you saw my other tutorials, our, our box was plain, wasn't it? So we go to file, load our model, we load the model, and I'll show you what I mean. Can you see what I mean? Look, this detail, all these bricks have suddenly appeared on top of your model. Now this is great for adding things like, you know, dirt and stuff like that. You know, it gives the illusion that you know, there are actually bricks underneath that. You know, it gives the illusion that this, this has like been spray painted onto that, you know? It's quite a nifty little trick. Um, I'm trying to think of an example that um, that I could, you know. It's 
basically it takes all of the lines you know like if I just made this a simple color then it, it would dwarf this it'd be like the normal color and stuff but because it's grayscale and because it's a detail map it gives the illusion that uh, yeah that these are bricks as you can see right and it works with most things well everything if you know what you're doing like things like you could do things like you know grass or but well, obviously you wouldn't do grass but for example you could put um scratches on this like you could put you know massive chunks like you know um like a chunk's been blown out or something like a you know massive indentations you know I, I hope that you understand what I mean when I'm saying this I hope I do hope I'm trying to explain as best as I can what the detail map does I'm, I'm really trying to explain um, how do I explain it I mean obviously you can see what it does maybe not so much on the YouTube video but if you watch the um, high risk video then yeah you can see it better but maybe you can see what I'm talking about it just gives the illusion that um, I, I can't explain it it is basically what it is a detail map it adds detail to your model like okay for example right if you had a box that was brick wall that was a brick wall simple brick wall okay then you made a detail map that had you know um dirt like um basically it, it just emphasizes all the lines and stuff like that okay now in the next tutorial I'm really sorry that I can't explain this more it's really hard to explain okay it just adds detail to your, to your model and stuff that's all I can <laughs> describe it as but I'm sure that you understand what I mean it's like if you had a, a detail map you know, it was that consisted of, you know, circles. Then it would give the illusion that there were actual actually circles on it. And the thing that works best with a detail map is if you have a bump map to go with it. So, for example, these bricks. If you had the bump map to go with it, it would appear as though these bricks were actually, you know, three dimensional. Like you could see the indentations. It wouldn't just look like, you know, that and in the next tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that I'm going to be showing you how to make a bump map using these bricks and then put it on to the box and then get it into the half you know, the, um, source engine and I'll, but the thing with that is you can't actually see the effect in model viewer or hammy you can only see them in game when there's been when there's light being cast onto it so I'll have to do that and then show you in game what it looks like Okay, so stay tuned for the next tutorial. We're going to be learning how to do bump maps. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, just ask me. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next time.